How you doing today, man? All right, so we have a special person in the mm -hmm. studio already. I wasn't going to let it, but, you know, I don't know what my director is doing. You know, he let the cat out of the bag, but he will be forgiven because it's just a day. They've corrected me. It's just a day. It's just a day to the end of 20. It's See, just one. So excited. One, just one thing. Only one day. And Before this year is over. And the oh. litiness of 2021 Finally. begins for some of you. Because me, I've been there. I Early know March. 2021. Mm -hmm. Is greatness. I know it's my year. I don't know about you. Uh, but yes, before we even go on, you know, yes, mm -hmm. I told you guys, I have a super duper personality in the studio. Mm -hmm. It goes by the name Calvin Drexler. He's an R&B Afrofusion artist from Emo States, born and brought up in Lagos, Nigeria. He started writing songs at the age of 16 and went into music fully in the year 2019. 2019! <laughs> 2019, like four years ago. <laughs> he studied economics at the Odudua University at Oshun State and graduated in the year 20, 2018. <laughs> that was like five years ago. Calvin dropped um, his first single titled Freaky. It was like freaky, freaky things. And um, another song in 2020 titled Samba featuring Mavio Music. This chap is about to take over the world as he is working on more projects. And men, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, give it up for the one and only Calvin Drexler. <laughs> What's good, bro? What's good? What's I'm good, good, man? How you feeling? You know, yeah, a lot of people. It's just one bad. day to 2021. What is 2020 been for you still? Uh, it's been rough. It's been rough for everybody. It's not been yeah, easy. yeah, for sure, for everybody. But, but for you now, I've personalized it for you. What has it been? It's not been you? easy. I had to, um, I was in, actually in Abuja for like, I was in the lockdown in Abuja. So mm. it wasn't easy though, but I still had to scale through. But it's still, still a blessed year, though. It's still, still a blessed, blessed year. year. Yeah, what are some of the things that you would say 2020 has taught you that you know no other year has taught you so far? Mm. Uh, 2020 um, is a year to look at and, like, like, learn a lot of things from this 2020. And, like, I want to take... It's a year where um, I learned a lot of things and to perfect myself in 2021. It's a learning year where you learn a lot of things and you know meet a lot of people and I was like okay I learned a lot of things from by meeting different people and how they affected my life and everything so I'm looking to perfect that in 2021. Okay. 2021 right. is going to be a year of perfection. Okay. Right. Yeah. Sorry before I even let I know she has questions to shoot yeah. at you <laughs> but before we go on we're touching on a topic where someone said that luck doesn't exist but look at you aren't you lucky to be at this <laughs> table today yes you uh, are definitely. I, I wouldn't say lucky I just maybe I just say grace. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you don't believe in luck as well? No, there's luck, but I feel grace is the most important thing because a lot of people like um, venture into this mm. thing and they don't succeed. Mm. So do you believe that sometimes luck just happens and sometimes yeah, you have yeah. to work at it? You have to work hard. Yeah, before mm. luck will find you. Yeah. So, so you don't think luck will just find you ordinarily like that? You have yeah. to put yourself out. Before mm. people like you have to yeah, put yourself so in I that feel, position yes. of luck. Yeah, this guy is a deep guy. <laughs> very, very, <laughs> very deep guy. Okay. Please shoot on. Um, let's talk about your music right now. I heard you started. I read that you started writing at the age of sixteen. Yeah, so sure. can you tell me what um, inspired you for music? What, what what brought about your love for music? I really want to know. I've been doing music since I was like. So I always love music. Like okay. I was, I was dancing to Buster Rhymes like since I was five. Mm. Yo, yo, yo. This yeah. is yeah. So <laughs> I was into it right from time. Then my room models was um, Chris Brown and Michael Jackson. Mm. So mm -hmm. those were the people that I was actually looking out to. So those were the people that inspired my music. Mm -hmm. Though now I'm entering into the Nigerian music industry, I, I like Omale, Whiskey, a lot of people. So your name, people. even your name, sounds like a melody, mm -hmm. Calvin Drexler. Calvin Drexler, Calvin Drexler. You know, that could, oh wow. Okay, I think the interview is over. <laughs> Just messing with you. But yeah, so Calvin Drexler, um, how did you come about that? Actually, I have seven names. I don't know if anybody. Yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, go on. so we have time. Calvin time. is part of my name, Drexler is part of my name. So it's actually um, one man. your parents? Can we meet them? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they have amazing. Ah, names. Amazing. Fresh names. <laughs> Calvin Drexler. My okay, friend. go on. So I was like, um, it's actually one year Calvin um, Philemon, but Drexler is also part of my name. It's so Philemon in your name yes. as well. Okay. So I was like, I like Calvin Drexler. I like Calvin. I like Drexler. So I actually had to fuse the two of them together. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, let me. I think I like them. It's actually my name. Those are my names, though. So it's not like as if I actually formed mm -hmm. the names or anything. So that's why I just actually picked them for. 
All right. So um, talking about your music, I've been seeing that you've done quite a few covers, you yeah, know, sure. like you love to do covers. Do you think that that's a better way of putting your craft out there? Because a lot of people would also want to argue that you want to bask in other people's glory, you know, songs that are blown. He's now doing the cover. I also bask yeah. in that same fame. How do you feel when people say such things? Oh, I've not really had that, but me, I'm just looking like showing my craft on other people's Beads mm. and what yeah. I could do. And most of the time, you kill it. You kill it better <laughs> than the, that what most people the original the singer. So, but I was just looking like this year, just for people to see that actually that I mm. could do something other people's song and they could vibe to it. Like, okay, this guy is actually good and that's something. So I was like, okay, fine. So I'm a Whiskey fan. I saw okay. your Pami and then I saw Essence cover and I just realized that, okay, this is a correct guy because I'm a Whiskey guy. You get that? You have to be a correct a guy fan. to be a Whiskey I'm guy. But well, before we even go on, we'll just let you guys see the cover of Essence. Time is off the Essence. Please take it away. Time is off the Essence. Guys, this boy is bad. He's, he's been a bad boy. Santa will not be to you. <laughs> oh, she don't All right, <laughs> All right um, go on, go on. Okay, before we even go on, mm -hmm. yes, yes, that almost special came person. my mind. We want to give a special person. To, we want to give a special shout out to a special somebody. You know, she interrupted our show, but she's forgiven. You know, she's, she's our mommy. Big shout out to Winifred. His yeah. mom was actually Ooh. the one who called on the show. Keep, what, keep doing your thing, Mama. Yeah. Yes, you brought so. in greatness to the world, mm -hmm. and we appreciate you. But yes, yeah, sir. shoot on now. Okay. So, watching the video, there's just one question I want to ask. What inspired that song? A present relationship or in the past? What inspired the song? <sighs> I was, I'm, 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 just, I'm a ladies' man, though. So, mm. Mm. Uh, so I was like, I always find inspiration. Sometimes I'm always indoors, so my inspiration comes from like different things. So Maybe from other people's relationship or some. Mm. So it was not from yours, like. Yeah, I like to keep that private. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you, okay. you, you don't want to talk about your relationship? No, no. Oh, yeah? I just want to okay. keep that okay. safe. Okay. Right okay. Yeah. Well, maybe she's shooting a shot. No. <laughs> maybe she wants to know if oh, you have a relationship yeah, while you're there. Mm -hmm. Ah, very good. Yeah, <laughs> all right, all right. So let's talk about um, music. Let's yeah. focus on um, how difficult the journey has been for you. Has it been so? You can't tell me it's been super easy. Yeah. No, so um, what's the journey been like for you? 
it's not easy because I don't have a label, so I'm just pushing myself and myself. So um, it's not really easy though. But I just I'm doing what I know how to do, just trying to put out music and mm. working, going to the studio. What about support from all the established artists? Have you mm -hmm. gotten any so far? Nah. So you don't know one established guy like, like hey, Bernard, how far now? I just dropped uh, this new song. Can you listen? Yeah, like I only know Mavi, yo. I know Mavi, yo. Then I just met someone recently. His name is Choma, but his name is Udini. He's an artist too. Oh, okay. So those are the people that I've just actually met. I've not actually met the big, big mm. artists or anybody. Yet, so, so if I've, you have the opportunity, who would you want to meet and work with? Definitely Whiskey. Mm. I like Whiskey. You kind of like, okay. Fan. okay. <laughs> so um, what future projects are you working on? What should we be expecting from Calvin? I have a um, new song. Mm -hmm. Let me just say the name Nobody. Okay. But I don't think mm. it's, I'm not copying Joe Boy, Nobody, and all that stuff. <laughs> but it's a different vibe. Because I'm doing, um, it's kind of like a reggae kind of vibe. That's the kind of tune I'm looking into okay. Afro pop. Mm. So um, it's coming out. So I'm looking like maybe by, I'm thinking January ending. Mm -hmm. All right. So your voice dexterity is also something that is really commendable because, you know, you can go through different, you know, pitches and stuff okay. so um how do you do that did you go for a like proper voice training or this is just all god to be honest i haven't actually done the vocal training or anything before mm. like i just what i do is that's how i'm even glad i tea i always take tea okay that's what that's i just do just that's just the me i just take tea to hold my voice up and that's all but i still want to actually improve my chords and everything but all right real quick i would like us to just touch on um you know the, the controversy that is um controversy that is going on in the music industry now with the triangle of bono boy david Doe, yeah. and um whiskey, whiskey you know the whole beef and then fighting in the club outside the country mm -hmm. what's your take on that do you think beef is something that is healthy when in the music space or is something that we should all stay away from to me, I'm not really happy like those guys are actually fighting because they're like the three biggest people in the industry. They're the real giants. Yeah, so me, I feel comfort them coming together is actually good to bring a lot of people together. And actually, it's all these fans that are actually causing all these things between these people. Why do you think the fans, though? Their preference, they like one person more than the other person. Mm -hmm. You can't decide for they anybody now. But I wished everybody could just come together as one. If the if Whiskey and David could actually come together, I feel the music industry would be in a better place because there will be no beef, no issues or anything. Mm -hmm. But I still like My them anyway. Words. I like every okay. each and every one of them. They're doing good and everything. All right. So um, a, a little bit told me that you'll be dropping your EP next year, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. So tell us about that EP. What should we be expecting? Are we going to see different styles or is it just going to be one style? Is it going to have no. Oh. storyline or it's tell a, us tell it's, us it's uh it's going to be a different vibe from um dropping the first single the ep is i want the first ep is going to be like um the journey how i started you know okay. happy the vibe and everything then the second ep is going to be a transformation of mm -hmm. the happy vibe into another type of person so I'm actually working on a lot of songs right now. Okay, so, so is it just music you're planning on doing or should we look forward to you going into acting or any other thing? <laughs> oh my life, <laughs> it was just music. I just see myself doing music. Too. Just music? Yeah, yeah that's all. Okay. all right, so tell the people where they can find Calvin because we're running out of time and like you know, time yeah. is of the essence. So tell us <laughs> where can people find Calvin, you know, if they want to hook up with your yeah, music, sure. if they want to get to know you, you know, you can even give out your number. I can help you guys. Nice <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell us. so on Instagram is at official Calvin Drexler. On mm -hmm. Twitter is at Calvin Drexler. Those are the two places you can get me on. But I am more active on Instagram, so it's official Calvin Drexler on Instagram and Twitter is at Calvin Drexler. Yeah, okay. and in case you want his number, ladies, um, you know, just go follow at Mr. Fire. And yes, I will uh. hook you up nicely. You know, no, I always <laughs> hook you up nicely. And yes, thank you for watching. You can join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Af Africa. Remember, you can catch up on our previous episodes, including this one, and all our exclusive contents by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and in London on Ben Television. A big thank you goes to my co. A big, 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 big thank you goes to my co-anchor, Any Baby, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Ife Oshunkeye.